Well, first of all, Maria Sarkuri, congratulations. What a phenomenal match tonight. There are so many things I want to ask you, but I know it's late. But first of all, how? After the last time you guys played, you finished about the same time. It was almost about the same amount of time on court. How did you t change it around from what happened in Miami? Well, I was prepared for 7-6 in the third. I actually told Tom before the match that I'm prepared for a 7-6 in the third, but if it you know, comes easier, then I'll take it. Uh, I knew it was going to be a very tough match. You know, she loves this court. She has this, her, her best memories. Um, I mean, playing with the crowd especially, you know, it's... Uh, I don't know. It, it's so good for both of us. And I, I'm sorry, I'm speechless. It's... Well, Maria, after you did lose the first set, very, very difficult and close second set, how did you manage to dig deep there to, to get through the second set because it looked like things could go either way? Well, I knew that I lost the first set because I was doing some things wrong. Uh, I was not very brave. Uh, so, you know, I had to change that because I really wanted to win. Um, I'm sorry, <laughs> I cannot speak. It's. Uh, uh, but. You know, I just wanted to win so much, so I just gave, gave it everything. You saw down the other end, Bianca was having some problems. And, and by the way, that is the first time that she's lost at the US Open. So when you look down the other end, and she's just struggling a little bit. What are you telling yourself? I mean, I tell myself, myself to just focus on myself because, you know, sometimes it's tough when you look at the opponent and if they're hurt, you can get, you know, a little bit tight. You know it really well. Um, oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah. So just try to focus on my tennis. And as I said, try to be brave. Go for it. Because, I mean, it's a dream coming through playing a night session here. Now you look up there and your mom's up there. Your Is mom, she alive? You're giving her a heart attack. <laughs> but your mom was a former player. Your mom was a former player. She knows exactly what it feels like to be on the court. How nice is it to look up and know that she knows exactly what you're going through? Well, she's a former player, but she's more stressed than any other person <laughs> in the box. Yes. When I looked at her, she was never looking on court. She was always like uh, leaning forward. She was not looking at the ball. She was probably praying. Um, no, but it's great to have her here. I, it's also, my sister is also here. It's great to have both of them. And, and a little something for these people that have stuck around till 2.20 in the morning. How about this crowd for this year? Before I say thank you, I hope you're not late to work tomorrow because, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll be in trouble for that. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for staying that late. I mean, go get some sleep and I'll see you in two days. Thank you so much. Maria, you look like you could go two more sets, but I'm going to let you go to bed because it's time for you to get some rest. You're into another round here at the US Open. Ladies and gentlemen, what an amazing match. Maria Sarkari. So impressive to outlast three and a half hours and then to outlast the length of that interview. <laughs>